Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of Elder Scrolls Online. This is Chaz chatting back at you, and this is my little character, Nina Cameron, and uh, we are going to take on the unsolvable dungeon today of Dire Frost Keep. Um, we're actually going to put this on a setting of uh, normal. Uh, for this one and because um, I have just recently learned of a, um, a little trick as it was going through that dungeon um, earlier today actually for a few hours until I figured it out so um, there is actually a way to get past it but unfortunately if you're going for a no death run on a true solo which uh, you do not have any partners whatsoever uh, there, there is only one way to do it, and um, it is um, going to be tricky. So um, I'm in East March. This is where Dire Frost Keep is. So I'm going to go ahead and fast travel uh, to that dungeon, and um, to make it a, a little bit more smoother and quicker, we're just going to go ahead and, and attempt this on um, a normal setting. Uh, and basically because uh, the the final boss um, at the end uh, she does this uh, life life sucking soul drain on you that uh, apparently can heal her quite a bit uh, so I just wait shrined in here uh, diaphras keep um, the dungeon is normal and it's reset um, so if you were to queue into this dungeon you actually start here from the exit entrance so, or egress if you will and then you come this way and then you see your first um, speaking stone on the left hand side so uh, let's go in and um, make our rounds so uh, you, you're you gonna have um, three sets of bears and um, I call this the um, the second floor because we actually go down to the first and I see my first heavy sack right there uh, sub basement one, sub basement two, and such and such. So um, let's go ahead and uh, tear it up. funny when I was doing this on uh, veteran I did not see any heavy sacks or any chests at all nothing else in here So, oh, little fun fact, there is actually an area up here that apparently no one knew of. And there is also a little area up here as well. So there's a couple of beers on this side and a troll on the opposite side over here. So um, on Veteran, this is actually a 500,000 K troll, so I didn't notice that. And uh, the bears are your normal 54k. I think um, on veteran they're 154k. I'm not sure. I, re I really don't pay attention to those stats, but I just I actually just found this area today. Um, what its purpose is I know there's like um, a lore book or something on this little what appears to be a sarcophagus of some sort 
Well, I, I really don't know if it's an, a lore book, lore book, or just one of your basic random books that you would find. I think lore books, once you actually touch them, they disappear. This one actually stays, so it's not uh, quite important as the rest of them. I, I think um, there's a difference between normal books and uh, your guild books, I guess. So, Anyway, here's your first boss. He's uh, surrounded by this permafrost thing. So it's uh, pretty easy to um, survive this one. Just heavy attack and spam shield and then buff up. Throw a couple of dots down. Weave in your light attacks because that does um, quite a bit of damage. So, um, that was the second floor, this is the, uh, first floor, I guess, um, yeah, maybe, um, yeah. weird okay so I'm actually gonna take out this trash here I hit him so hard he went up on the wall there's a little bookshelf read as many as you can uh, doesn't look like any heavy sack or treasure chest so I'm moving on Uh, your next boss, the little, little uh, guardian of the flame, and uh, don't see any treasure chests or heavy sack in this chamber. Uh, I guess not. So, say hello to my little friend.
someone please get that man of breath mint oh can you smell that I'm on fire So if you actually go up these stairs, a little drunken navigation there, hitting a wall, and go over to the right, there's actually a little mini boss over here as well. It's uh, Jordan's Apprentice. So I'm also going to kill this one. And um, the, he too will um, overpower you with this soul sucking thing that you have to use break free to get out of it like that but don't worry even though I'm running like um, 9k scam I should be able to break free of that so he isn't uh, healing himself up that that quickly looking for your heavy sack and treasure chest and finding nada not a single one not even a secret tunnel uh, so anyway here is your um, your second floor platform um, midway gate um, that uh, divides the two sections um, that's uh, closed and locked and there's no way to get through it So this area, you're not going to be able to get through there. There are no switches, no pressure plates. It's just a, a dead gate. You can't get through it. So let's go down to uh, sub basement, sub basement number one, and um, start taking out these uh, this trash mob uh, down here. Uh, use my food because I have 18 minutes. Um, use these. Usually there's something walking around down here. But
Okay, no treasure chest, no heavy sack. Just your normal sack sack. Uh, so over here to the right there is a gate, a closed gate that there is a switch on the other side that you can actually flip and get into, but I'll show you that in a moment. So So as you can see, you walk right up to this gate and you can actually activate its lever on this side um, and you can actually get through. So I'm going to activate it now, but I'm not going to go through. I'll show you the purpose of that in a moment. So, so I think I got a recipe, right? Not that any of that's important right now. Alright, so let's go up here to this chamber. It's a trash chamber. And uh, on both sides, uh, one right here, where that little skeleton is, bashing that little tomb. This one right over here as well, there are two pressure plates that open up this gate. So unfortunately, this is where you're dead stopped because you can't get past this gate unless you have a partner or Zenimax gets rid of the pretty pretty uh, pressure plates over there puts like uh, right there and right here like two of the switches that one can activate at the same time like other dungeons and or trials can activate one but you you have to be something has to be on the other side as well in order to get uh, down here to face that boss right there in sub basement number two um, so uh, since this whole area is clear now I'm gonna come down here to um, to that gate I just opened and we're gonna go through on this side. And we're quietly gonna pass this little frost troll right here and quickly go down here there we go got your attention So we're at the gate of the, um, how many, what number of bosses is this like? One, two, three, four, maybe? I don't know. So say this is the fourth boss, okay? There was that big giant troll, then the Draga with its bad non-minty breath, and then the little boss, the Jordan's Apprentice. Now we have Jordan's Dreadlord. Um, there we we can't get through the gate, and if you look over here to the left-hand side, uh, see right there, this little switch, and put my cursor on it, right there through the gate, it's just above, and to the left, no, I'm sorry, the right of this um, little uh, wall torch. Uh, so obviously you, you can't reach it, you can't get to it, you can't open up this gate, 
and um, you definitely need to um, kill that boss in order to flip that switch in order to open this gate the one we were just at so um, unfortunately this is all you can do on a no death run however here is where the tricky part comes in okay so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing's attention and we're gonna kill it and then it will be done um, then we'll be able to uh, progress and I'll, I'll show you how but unfortunately again if you're doing a, a no death run sorry this this is going to cost you one token <laughs> I think I just wasted my ultimate. Line of sight. The boss is using line of sight. Okay, so he be dead. And thus completes this whole entire section. Um, the switch is still there, inaccessible. You cannot get it. You just can't morph through walls or, or anything. And you definitely need something to um, activate the second pressure plate. So we're quickly gonna run past this little troll dude. Right here. And come back up here. I have a little bit of stamina, but wow. Alright, so, um, okay, obviously I'm not going to be able to do the quest, but this is where you would bring the fire. Now, as you can see, um, this gate over here, even though I, I just killed the boss, is still locked and closed, so you, you cannot pass it. You shall not pass, says the little man with the white beard who's not Santa Claus. Uh, so we're going to head on back down because um, right over here is um, your little portal, okay? which is going to take us where we want to go. But unfortunately, again, this is a non no death run. We're going to spend one token down here at the expense of getting through this dungeon. That's non passable as a solo to actually pass it. So how do we do it? as a simple matter. We're gonna let this little dude right here tear us up uh, just in case. I'm gonna take off my pet. Oh no, don't hurt me Mr. Beast man. Copyright. You're so ugly. I do not like being called ugly. Arr, two, two. Oh, and I'm dead. So two choices. Res here. Fill the soul gem. Or go to the way shrine. We are going to go to the way shrine. Very important. So this little portal right here. Is now. 
going to take us where we need to be. So let me jump in a portal. And look, we're at the boss's chamber, Jordan's ch uh, chamber, where we just destroyed him. Look, that's his uh, dead carcass right there. And we're now going to flip the lever. Hey, not only is this gate open, not only is this gate open, but two things, very important, pay attention. Number one, we get revenge. We bust up this little beach. How dare you rough me up, you little punk. Yeah, you go die now, you big pile of ash. Beach. And then the second thing, uh, we just mosey on up, upstairs to the second floor, first floor, whatever, right? Yeah, first and second, go to second floor. That cost me one token, one Super Mario token. Courtesy of Pac-Man. go through this little chamber again I've already completed the quest so I'm not gonna be able to show you these three little cheer dudes sitting there that so patiently want to die again but look oh our gate is open after activating the switch now we're gonna be able to go ahead and traverse into the final section uh, there's only really just one and two bosses so one mini boss which is really like a tall super mini boss kind of and then the actual boss Jorda at the end of the um, area so. oh yeah bo bo <laughs> this is so fun, yeah. But again, I'm, I'm so sadly disappointed because it did cost me a life to get up here. It's like, what do you think those things grow on trees, son? Do you think water grows on trees? Let me tell you something. My daddy before his daddy said their daddy told me. Goodbye, Skeletor wannabe. There is only one real Skeletor. Somebody still alive here? No way. Goodbye, foot soldier. <laughs> All right, here we go. There is your mini boss. Mr. How do you do ice heart? Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh. He killed my little scamp. You really do have an ice heart. You are gonna pay.
Hey, somebody put bleed on me. Have any heavy sack or chest? I mean, did you really see any more other than that one that I picked up? Because honestly, that is cheap. And we're gonna skip this little trash mob right up here. Oops. What happened? I just lost my pets. So that was the most random, heinous act of terrorism ever. The transmute fog spell turned out more useful than I thought. Would never have gotten through the last and now or the summit. There are many reasons not to go. I can hear blasting winds at the top of that ladder, and there is a chill that strikes the bone. Any manner of beast could be waiting for me, but I will not shame my family by walking away. Is he still talking? What's going on down there? Hey, <laughs> all right. So normally if this was on veteran right behind this first little ice statue thingy you would see your um, I don't even know what I'm targeting but anyway there would be a scroll right here so oh it looks like the dude that was um, talking is uh, crystallized in this big pile of ice so uh, anyway I'm gonna uh, go around in a um, counterclockwise uh, motion here looking for anything that may be resembling a heavy sack and or treasure chest before we get ready to rumble hey one chest Yeah, it's a simple one, so I got... Oh, a sword, yay! Hmm, wow, okay, that's probably about 50 coin at a merchant, right? At best. No other heavy sack or chest. Alright, uh, let's, um, let's go ahead and try it out. So this is a Jorda of the ice reach and uh, she will lock you in this soul sucking ice beam that drains your energy and um, fills her life bars so if you don't have enough stamina to go ahead and break free of that she's gonna heal up really quick so um, <clears throat> basic thing is um, keep hitting her and don't die right <laughs> Because that would be a moot point. Anyway, let's uh, let's do this. Yay! Oh, my soul! So, um, <clears throat> I would definitely throw down as much um, AoEs and dots as possible because um, that heal thing that she does is quite strong, especially if you don't break free. And, it, and it's like I'm almost certain she 
fully recovers on veteran hard mode when she does that so unless you have like a really good strong DPS say hello to my little friend She's actually kind of tough to beat here. Okay, let's recover a little bit of magicka. Actually, I'm gonna build up my big ultimate. Guess I got lucky on that one, huh? hit me. <laughs> Boys and girls, guys and smies, ladies and gents, people of all ages and whatnot, tall, short, skinny and fat, this is how you get through Dire Frost Keep Solo without the use of a partner or anything that manipulates uh, environmental things with uh, real time uh, in-game wait to uh, you know activate the pressure please but unfortunately it does cost you one revival token in this game so if you're trying to do a death a no death run um, the only way to get through it is to have somebody um, you can definitely you can solo it you can have a partner and solo just up to the point of uh, the pressure plates then have your partner come in activate the pressure plates and then they can um, drop out and leave uh, via the way they came so long as you don't um, actually um, you know queue for the dungeon they can um, exit through the um, the back back side of the, um, the keep so uh, this is uh, East March it's where you find the dungeon uh, Dire Frost Keep uh, once found you can recall there and you can do this on normal and or veteran um, if you're really tough you have a lot of high-end uh, DPS uh, and you like to spend the time uh, killing the final boss especially on hard mode hey knock yourself out it is doable um, so thank you everyone for tuning in to today's episode of Elder Scrolls Online, hope I didn't disappoint, and um, yeah, we learned something today that is still possible to do an unsoloable dungeon as a true solo, but it just costs you a little uh, token. Uh, yeah, I know on the left hand side there's like a lot of high ping, but pay no attention to the man behind that red door. Because I've actually uploaded a couple of videos to the internet and it is taking quite a bit of RAM. I think I have like seven going to maybe three, three different sites, four maybe, five, no four. And uh, yeah, so it's eating a, a lot of my RAM. What's 
uh, miraculous about it is I'm not actually getting any slowdown in um, in the animation. Well, at least I, I don't think. Anyway, uh, hey, again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the entertainment. And if there's anything else that I can do, if it's even possible, I will try to do it. Until next time, Hovedo Zane, and goodbye. Bye now.